Oh, hello? What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Today, me and my good friend, I like pie, say hello. There he is. <laughs> We're going to teach you the basics of how to parry in Dark Souls 2. Now, the thing about parries is you really have to just start reading your opponent's mind. Um, you have to fight an opponent for just a little while to understand their play style and basically predict what they're going to do next. So, let's say your opponent keeps on throwing out rolling R1-ing attacks over and over. Rolling R1s just over and over, and they just will not stop. Well, just keep on dodging, and you keep on seeing this pattern, and you just have to predict it. Parry, and punish accordingly. So, getting started with parrying, you need to really pick a, uh, a parrying tool of your choice. Um... What I recommend is either the buckler or the parrying dagger. But you can also use a really good stability shield. Now the difference between these three um, is that the buckler has a lot of active frames. You won't get any more active frames on any other piece of equipment. But the startup timing is very slow compared to other parrying tools. Um, buckler is really good for backstep parrying. Um, and prediction pairing. Um, the pairing dagger is a more of aggressive play style of pairing. Um, your parries come out very quickly. Um, it's good when you're baiting in attacks with your own. And um, it does have quite a few active frames as well. A good stability shield, any good stability shield, is going to be used for um, setup pairing, which we'll go over all three of these in just a minute. So there are three types of pairing. Setup parries, backstep parries, and prediction parries. Now, the setup parries can be done with any shield, but it should be done with a high stability shield. So go ahead and R1. Go ahead and R1, R1. Right into it. All you have to do is block the first attack, assume the second attack is coming, and go ahead and parry it. That's a setup parry. Using your attacks as a block. Um... Backstep parries are very, very similar, except you backstep through the first attack. Um, let's go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and do the exact same thing. Except you backstep through the first one instead of blocking it. Now, the final type of parry is a prediction parry. Now, this parry is a little less safe, but it can be extremely rewarding, and there are ways to bait people into doing exactly what you want. Um, for example, um, the earlier example I said of the rolling attacks, if your opponent just keeps on rolling R1 at you, you can just punish them. You can see it coming, predict it, and punish it. Now we're going to talk about parry baits, which is specific to uh, prediction parries. Um, basically, there are ways to manipulate your opponent to do exactly what you want. You don't have to predict their moves, you can sort of make them do what you want. Um, you can sort of fo force out a swing, um, thinking that you're vulnerable when you're really not. Um, the first part of parry baiting is going to be a whiffed attack. So, what you do is you on purposely miss an attack, completely out of range, to bait your opponent in, thinking they have a chance, when in reality, they're the ones getting parried. The second type of parry bait is a guard break parry bait, where you basically, usually use this against someone who turtles, who has their shield up a lot. So you go up, you try to get the parry bait, they either roll away, or walk straight into your parry. Like so. The third and final parry bait I have for you guys is the parry parry bait. Now, this is real, and it can be quite effective. Um, basically, what you do is you just you walk up to your opponent, you throw out a parry, and then you just watch him. You just watch them throw out another. So that's about it, everyone. Um, thanks again so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you out, teach you a thing or two about parrying. And... Um, I'll see you guys in Dark Souls 3. Thanks again, uh, I like Pi, for your help, man. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man.
You were you're the biggest help ever. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's about it, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye, Pi. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.